personality, the emotion, the youth. <laughs> That's the Florida Symphony Youth Orchestras. This is an organization that's more than 60 years old. And in that period of time, hundreds of youth who've trained and performed with the orchestras have taken their gifts from Florida to places like Switzerland and Austria and China. For the past few months though, we've seen the youth orchestras perform in a way we never have before. We've got an exciting show for you featuring some of the performances from their special Couch Concert Series. And as always, we've got some conversation. Florida Symphony Youth Orchestra's Executive Director, Brianna Scales is here with us. The fun is all starting in three, two, one. I'm Renata Sago, your host. The oldest youth symphony orchestra in the state of Florida is located right here in Orlando. The Florida Symphony Youth Orchestra trains about 300 kids across nine counties to be the best version of their musical selves that they can be. The organization, like others of its kind across the country, is the springboard for some of the most well-known classical musicians in the United States. Brianna Scales is executive director of FSYO. She's here to share with us what the organization has been up to since March. Hey, Brianna. Hi. How are you? It's so good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you for having me. Yes. So, um, you know, we're going to get some orchestra performances in a moment. But first, I have to ask you, you yourself, you are a trained vocalist. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you grew <laughs> up in a musical family. Your parents are jazz musicians. By the age of three, you were playing the piano. By eight, you were playing the cello. That's a lot. I mean, what is it? <laughs> Your last name is Scales. <laughs> Add to that. <laughs> um, what is it that you sort of learned yourself at an early age about what it takes to be a young performer? Um, it, it takes a lot of discipline. Uh, you learn very early that if you want to be good, you have to work at it. Um, it's not just something that's going to just come easily. I mean, there's plenty of prodigies out there, but there is plenty of work that goes into it. And um, in addition to all your other studies, finding the time to really concentrate and uh, Put yourself out there and make it work. Yes, that's very important. Now, are you still singing? Uh, I do sing uh, sometimes, not as much as I would like, um, especially now with COVID, it's kind of taken over my life as an executive director right now. Um, <laughs> but I do to keep myself in good spirits. Yeah. So this has been such a crazy time, like you just said, for youth. I mean, kids have gone into remote learning. Some kids, if you're really fortunate, you have some semblance of structure and stability. What you guys did um, instead of offering your traditional final concert was you introduced the Couch Concert Series, this really innovative take on being able to have the kids performing um, in front of a larger audience. Let me ask you, um, what is it that uh, you found that the kids were really able to do that was different from sort of the past, more traditional performances? Uh, well, they really got a chance to showcase their individual talent. Um, we sent out an offer for any student to, who wanted to, to send in a solo performance. Um, so they all got a chance to present themselves as soloists if, if that was something that they wanted to do, which is not something that they would traditionally get to do for our finale concert. It would all be um, full orchestra performances, full jazz band performances. But this was a chance for them to really show how much they've improved and every, get everyone a chance to see what they've been working on this year. So you shared a few clips from the couch concerts. Let's take a look.
That's Adam Lang on the drums. Hey. FSYO Jazz Band.
Oh my goodness, that was phenomenal. And so what we saw was, it was a mix of like, like solo um, performers, but then you also had some ensemble work as well, right? Yes, yeah, so we were able to showcase everything we've done over the past few years. So one of the um, performances is a touring performance. We took the students a few years ago to Europe and they got to compete in a summa cum laude um, performance and they got second place out of all of the different international countries. There were youth orchestras from like the National Youth Orchestra of Thailand. So the best players from all over Thailand. And this was just our students from Central Florida and we came in second place which I think is incredible. So this is one of their performances that was there. And then also our jazz orchestra, um, which is an incredible group, which is led by Jeff Rupert, who is also an instructor at UCF. And he does amazing work with these students. You wouldn't even know that they are young musicians if you weren't looking at them. They just sound so good. Oh my goodness, that is so, so cool. Just being able to go from Central Florida and, and take the skills to another country. You know, you're bringing that, the energy, the youth, but also being able to be immersed in a new culture. So I know that that's really an added experience. There's something really new that you guys have introduced over the past few months. Uh, but it'll actually sort of take shape in mid-September when your new season starts. And that's the music appreciation within the community, right? Um, history is such an important component. You wanna delve into the background of certain genres. Let me ask you, what is something that's really um, interesting, like a fun fact that you wish more people knew about a certain genre, be it classical or I don't know, jazz. Oh man, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think people don't realize how much music is out there. Um, they hear the same few pieces performed over and over, but there's so many pieces that just don't get performed because either we don't have the correct instrumentation or they cost so much to rent, but it's such beautiful music. And um, that is some of the music that we will be exploring through the music appreciation course that we're offering. It's music that you don't traditionally hear when you go to an orchestra concert, but it's out there and it's incredible music. Yeah, different kinds of genres. Like, oh my goodness, every day people are creating new sounds. If you just go on YouTube or in somebody's basement, you know, <laughs> people are, are creating new ways. Well, I look forward to being able to follow more of the orchestra's work. How can we follow it? Uh, you can find us on Facebook at the FSYO. Um, our website is www.fsyo.org. Uh, we're also on Instagram at F underscore Y underscore S underscore Oh, underscore. So um, there's plenty of ways to, to get in contact with us and reach out. Um, our first concert will be held in December, December 13th at um, Mead Garden in Winter Park. And that information will all be posted on our Facebook and our website. Brianna Scales, Executive Director <laughs> of Florida Symphony Youth Orchestra. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's show. You can find more episodes on demand on YouTube at orangetvfl.net. You can follow me as well at Renata Sago. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. We are always looking for more talent. I know it's out there. All you have to do is submit your video to live at orangetvfl.net. Do it through Dropbox or we transfer and we might use it on a future episode of Live From Home. Until next time, peace.